Maybe you chose to spend the weekend on the beach where teams hit the water in skipjack boats for the 54th annual skipjack race and festival. WBOC's Denise Sawyer joins us in the news flex and Denise working on Labor Day. Well, it wasn't so bad after all. <laughs> Aisha, it's Labor Day and I am definitely laboring away, but you're right. It was actually not bad at all, especially when I got a chance to listen to live music, eat good food and meet some historical people. Some people say this guy looks pretty good for his age, and it's hard to believe he's one of the first African-American skipjack captains on the eastern shore. It was hard. It was hard. Working on a skipjack is never easy. Those boats far out there on Tangier Sound are skipjacks. They were used on the Chesapeake Bay for oyster fishing for more than a century. And at 76, Captain Kermit Travers is around to talk about it. When I was out there, yeah, I felt like I, I, was, I was home. I, I, I just, everything, I put everything in it. And to help you appreciate Travers' legacy, along with many other fishermen, the 54th annual Skipjack Race and Festival happens each year. It's a family affair. All the kids come down, the dogs come down, you see them all over the place. And everybody seems to enjoy it. Including Bob, who's from Pennsylvania. And the boats are beautiful. He loves this type of stuff. He says it's like being a kid in a candy store. We don't do this in New Jersey. And you don't do it in Philadelphia, <laughs> okay? So this is, if you're from there, this is a nice breath of fresh air. And this guy has the best seat in the house, which shows you Joe Tucker is no rookie. He comes just about every year. Imagine you know, what it's like to live on the water every day and to be a fisherman. and. Uh, that boat's been doing it every day for 100 years, <laughs> you know, a lot of history there. Much of which Captain Trevor is eager to tell. I want to mention that it wasn't just about the tasty lemonade and tons of yummy food. Organizers say most of the proceeds will go to Hurricane Sandy recovery, fire recovery and drug awareness and treatments in the area. Maybe next year, Aisha, we can have some fun at the Skipjack Race and Festival in Somerset County. Denise, looking forward to that. Thank you.